What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here. I'm going to teach you guys how to mine library credits today. Well, it's really simple. Um, I pretty much have everything set up for you. i got a download link. All you got to do is make sure you've got the right driver based on your Windows. Um, sign up one account, change... Uh, one address or two addresses and click start and you guys will be mining library credits so let's uh start showing you guys how this whole process is going to work uh, let me pause this for a second all right i've got this rig um this is the same rig i had mining the uh monero the other day i've actually switched it over to mining um uh, lbc or library credits and when I get done with this, I'm going to make the modifications to these six cards as well. So be on the lookout for that with the modified BIOS. And that's going to be coming up real soon after this. Um, but let's see what our library mining miner is producing. So let's get rid of the box. So it seems like we're getting an average of 120. Let's see if I can get the fo autofocus got turned off. There we go. 120 mega hashes. Um, running about 78, 80. Some cars are running cooler than others. And this is drawing about. Let's get a flashlight. About 1300 watts. So this is the library miner guys. Now I'm going to show you guys how to go ahead and install this and get it up and running. Um, for now I have these set on the standard BIOS. The, uh, so it, the, it's the way from, it's this direction. It's, sorry, it's this direction. The BIOS is uh, the turbo mode, so it's set on the highest clock possible. It's not the tone down mode, which would be that direction towards the um, the plugs on the towards the plugs on the back of the graphics card. All right, um, so let me show you guys how to get this up and running. We'll do a few tests, and we'll see how this is going to work. Okay, the first thing I need you guys to do is to write down this email. Just send me an email, anything whatsoever. I won't get it. Just hi, whatever. Um, you're going to get an auto response, which will send you guys here. But let's just leave it here for a second so you can get the email address. And you guys will get an auto response message just like this. Just saying, hi, thanks for watching my video. Um, you know, if you feel like tipping me, there's my tipping addresses. But I really do appreciate uh, supporting the channel by... You guys shopping on Amazon, you know, just any everyday stuff you guys buy there. Um, you know, just make sure to use this link. You can actually click that link and then bookmark that. Use that bookmark every time you shop at Amazon. And it does help support the channel, guys. I really do appreciate it. Um, try to also make it easier for newcomers. There's a store right here that's got all the bits and pieces that you might need to get started. So check that out as well. Um, basic disclaimer down at the bottom. Uh, I'm just trying to cover my butt, but you know everything's all good. Um, and then it's going to have the download link down in the download center. Uh, the down this will only send it out every three days, I believe, maybe four days. Uh, so if you guys did not, if you downloaded the XMR uh, miner, go ahead and try sending an email here. Uh, but put in the title asking for the library and also put that I downloaded the XMR t uh, and I will look and correspond it with the other one because I think it's only I think it's gonna I think it's probably only about 10 people probably in the last day or so that that's gonna be off the cutoff point so and if you want to download the library miner then just uh, you know put in the title that hey I downloaded the XMR um, and I would like the, the uh, minor, or if you don't get the auto response, just reply back. Say, hey, I didn't get the auto response. That might be a lot easier, actually. So if I see it in the title, um, I didn't get the 
response email, you know, within like an hour, uh, respond back and then I'll manually check it like in, in a day or so and I'll respond to you. Again, it should be only applied for like 10 people. So for the most part, it shouldn't matter too much. Again, uh, this is the email address. Just send that here and you'll get the email with all the info and the download link. And once we have the download link, you guys will click it and it will send you to, this will give you access to my Google Drive. Um, this folder is for the AMD only library. So if you have AMD graphics cards, this will work for you. So I will have to do another one for Nvidia later on. Unfortunately, um, yeah, that's a whole nother rant video. I don't think I'll get into how <laughs> I had trouble with my motherboard on my new computer and I have to send it back. Ah, anyways, don't get me started. Um, sorry. But, uh, so I'll do something with the AMD card, uh, excuse me, the NVIDIA cards when I get that motherboard back here in a couple of weeks. Hopefully less than that. Uh, but for now, again, this is for AMD cards. So what you guys need to do is make sure you have the correct driver. So it's really, really simple. Sorry for the rant. Um, what you need to do is uh, basically download this uh, driver, the driver cleaner, which is right here. And you're going to want to run that. But before you run it, find your appropriate driver for your Windows and the graphics card that you have. So for an example, I have, I'm running uh, Windows 10 um, on that machine and I'm running the 400 series card. So right here is Windows 10. 64 bit, you can only use 64 bit 400 series card. So I'm gonna get that driver and download the cleaner. Then I'm gonna download the library miner itself. Then the readme is also, you can download that as well, but it's also in there as well uh, in the miner. So then you're going to do the driver cleaner. Once you have the driver cleaner done, you will install your new uh, drivers for the graphics cards. Um, and once that's done, you guys can start the mining process or actually use the miner. Um, so another quick example is if you're using Windows 7, uh, 300 series, 200 series card, you would want to use this miner, or excuse me, this driver right here. So just, you know, match your computer with the correct driver. And once you have all this downloaded and unzipped, we're going to open the miner and this is what we'll see. Okay, so this is what you guys are going to see. It's the library miner. And then once you get in here, there's the readme file I was just telling you about. Um, again, doing this on my phone, I would like to do it on my other computer. Oh, I'm ranting again, but I don't have a motherboard. Anyways, <laughs> I want to double click this. Uh, once you guys get in here, there's a lot of files. Don't worry about any of this. This is already all set up and really simple. We're looking for one simple file, which is right here, which is the library Nova Bat. Right, oops, oops uh, left handed, come on. Right click it, there you go, and click edit. So, if you were to double click that the computer were to, would start mining right away and right now it is actually ready to start mining but it is set up to my account so i would get credit for it you guys would not make any you wouldn't get any of the returns for the mining because it's going to my account so if you guys feel like you know tipping me or whatever else you want to run it for a little bit uh to my account hey i'm not going to complain i appreciate it and i'll go ahead and say thank you um but what we need to do is get you set up with an account so that it's mining for you. And this is going to be really simple. What you're going to need to do is copy that address right there. This is the pools address. Okay. So we want to go to library.subnova.cc and we're going to go there. And I've already got it open, which is right here. So you guys are going to need to go down to other and then I'm already creating an account basically create an account uh, make sure to put a pin in that you will remember because you will need it once you've created the account we need to go and set up the account so let's go to edit my account and this is just a dummy account that I set up to show you guys um, 
you need to put your library payment address in here. Uh, if you don't, you can use uh, lots of different ways to get a library address if you don't already have one. I'll try to cover that here on another video. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on and then you want to set your payment. Uh, is there a payment threshold? Payment address. Oh yeah, here it is, payment threshold. So you can get automatic payments. You can leave some of the money in the pool for a little bit until you figure out the library wallet. But I'll show you guys how to get a library wallet too. Um, but you're probably going to want to set this at like, see they charge 0.01 for the fees. Uh, you're probably going to want to set it, I like to set mine at like 10 coins, just so the fee is not so high. But that's up to you. So you could put 10 in there and set that up. Um, Alright. Okay guys, I actually added a library wallet link right here. This is going to be to the Windows Alpha version. And this is going to be a local wallet on your computer. So, it, if you format your computer or uh, whatever, you can lose the coin. So, m make sure to keep backups. Uh, this is a local wallet. But this is also a test for the platform. But it's a, an alpha version. It's a very early one. So, you guys are going to want to make sure to download that as well. And... I have the, um, hold on one second, let me open it. Okay, you're going to want to, once you go ahead and download that, you'll install it, it'll put a shortcut on your desktop, and you'll just double click that and it'll open into a browser, Mozilla, or just, it'll open in a browser, um, depending on which of the main ones on your computer. This is kind of the home page. Once you guys get in here, you guys can check it out, see what's going on, you can watch videos, download stuff. Uh, this is library. This is the actual alpha version right here. You don't need a test code. You can just skip that part. Um, getting this live straight from the Bitcoin miner. Thanks to the library guys. They gave us the direct download link. Um, so right here is how you get your wallet. And so if you want to receive, you right there. There's your wallet address. You're going to want to copy that wallet address into your payment address section. So now that you can get paid. So now you automatically get paid by saving the, by setting the automatic threshold payment center and by putting your payment address in. Uh, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and update their account, which I'm not gonna do because this is just kind of a dummy account. Now we need to make a worker. So select my account and then select my workers. Once you get here, you're gonna wanna put a worker name in I used worker1 and then password x, it's pretty standard, no need to do anything uh, crazy. Um, it's pretty standard. Um, so what you're going to do is whatever your actual username is, which is this account was test test, dot, and then whatever you want to call your worker, which is worker1. So then the next one would be worker2, put password um, x, and then it would be test test dot worker two. So what we're gonna wanna do is take that information and put it into here. Right there, so switch out the Rozo dot worker one, because that's my worker, and put your worker, your username and your worker there. And that's that simple, guys. Um, the P, the X is actually the password, so if you put something other than X there as a password, you need to put that where the X is which is right, ugh, left-handed, here. That's your password. The I-19, uh, 19 is the bottom. I think it goes up to 30, if I remember correctly, but it's the intensity of the, uh, of how hard the workers are. I start with 19 and go up real slow. I haven't got over 21, I think it is yet. So stick with 19 and, and go from there. Um, so all we gotta do now, guys, is just save this file. Just come over here to File, and then click Save. Though I'm not gonna change that one. Once we've got it saved, you're gonna go back to your folder where it is, 
right click that right there and then create a shortcut. Take that shortcut and drag it onto your desktop. Once you have that on your desktop, all you have to do is double click that to start mining. Okay, I'm over here on the other computer now, which is the six Sapphire 480 cards. And we're gonna go ahead and start this miner up. Okay. So right over here in the top left, this is your current hash rate. This is your average hash rate. These are your CPU temperatures fan speeds, and how much mega hash you're actually producing. Now remember I told you guys can turn this up from 19. If you start to see, uh, I think it's going to say invalid card or error or something, you'll, you'll notice it. Then start turning it down. You've, you've turned it up way too high. Um, so this will run at about 120 mega hashes. And the average temperature is probably going to be about 75, 70 per card. Now, I did something a little bit different to try to help reduce the power consumption. It saved about 80 watts or so. I hold on, went in the tricks and then lowered the GPU voltage. This is not a necessary step, but these cards can easily hand it, handle it. It's no big deal. You could probably do up to 50, but again, I would... 24 should be no big deal. You could start with 20 and then slowly move your way up with maybe five per go. Um, this is a not a necessary step, but it does help to save a little bit of power. Um, so I found it to be very stable. I've been running this for now for 24 hours at this settings, which is negative 24. I actually put 25 in, but the system automatically goes to 24 uh, millivolts for millivolts for the uh, CPU. So, all right, there you go, guys. That's how to mine library. Um, hopefully I've tried to make it very simple for you guys. All you got to do is just download the folder, change your username and worker, and double click it and start, and you guys will be mining library. The future of video content platform. I'm excited. It's coming soon. Um, so, All right, thanks again, guys. And remember to like the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and give subscribe. See you guys later in the next video. Bye, guys.